So it's official. Beyonce is now in her country girl era. 16 characters driving away one. If it wasn't for Tony. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm back with another video. This is a spontaneous video. Beyonce just announced her Act 2 album release and it's gonna be a country album. And a lot of the fans, a lot of people was already guessing that because Act 1 was like the house, electronic, dance music. Act 2, a lot of fans already guessed that it was gonna be country. And for Act 3, which may be released next year or so, a lot of people are thinking it's going to be rock and roll. It's not new because Beyonce did a country song before, but for it to be a whole album. Oh my God. I just wanted to get my thoughts on it. The two singles that she released and just the whole rollout. She even did a Super Bowl commercial. And that's another thing with Beyonce is she's built up so much hype and so much notoriety to the point where her name sells everything. Like she doesn't need to promote. She has that thing with surprise drops or just posting something on Instagram and it sells out. Posting her Renaissance tour, the tickets sold out, you know? But the thing is, before the Super Bowl, Verizon kept teasing something relating to Beyonce like in the Renaissance and they had like the horse. And it was like, okay. So people was thinking, okay, she's gonna have a commercial, but what is she gonna do? For Beyonce to do a Super Bowl commercial? And then it's like, with Verizon of all things, it's like, what is this? Wait a minute, hold on. Turns out, she partnered with Verizon to announce Act 2, which is going to be a country album. And it's like, hmm, this is going to be interesting. Now, in regards to her first act, which we came to find out was like house music, electronic music, dance music. I was one of those people that was like, yeah, I don't want to hear that. And even now, I know that album grew on a lot of people. For me, I'm still like... But, you know, it is what it is. Every music, every genre is not for everybody. Every song is not for everybody. This country album, most of us already realized it because she went to the Grammys with the cowboy hat and it was just like, you could tell everything with Beyonce is strategic. And it was a thing of like, okay, building up hype, building up anticipation. Like, why is she wearing a cowboy hat? Why is she doing this? Why is she would, you know? So most of us already knew, but now that it's officially announced and she dropped two singles, and I like how with the two singles, I'm gonna get into, it's like a contrast. It's like a more mid-tempo, up-tempo, square dancing type of song. Then it's more of like that slow, self-reflection type of song, which have those country roots in it. Now, here's the thing though, right? A lot of people, because Beyonce is dropping a country album, she dropped these country songs. Now we have all these country music experts and I'm seeing, I'm like, really? Before this, you wasn't talking about nothing with country music. Now you have all this discourse about country music. But to Beyonce's credit, that's another great thing because there's that discussion about country music. Because with Beyonce and these acts, it's been said that Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, she's reclaiming back genres that were originally created by black musicians, black artists. You know, but country music and house music and rock and roll, a lot of people now and over the last few years had this thing of like, oh, that's white people music. That's white people music. But it's like, mm, if you look into the roots, you look into the history, rock music, country music and dance, all that type of music has roots and origins from black artists. And Beyonce is reclaiming that. That's the narrative with this with my dreams away to the now am i a country music fan do i listen to country music on the regular no because it's beyonce like many others i'm interested to see her take on it her spin on it hearing a country song with a beyonce twist when i think of country music now or before she releases country music i just think of like mostly white artists you know taylor swift when she first came out and you think of like the older artists, you know, like Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre, you know, Tammy Wynette, uh, Clint Eastwood, Keith Urban, hmm, maybe. Who else? You know, Carrie Underwood, you know, she won American Idol. That's what I think about. And I think about, you know, those type of country songs with a he I ho, green eye, Joe, you know, that type of thing where it's like a banjo or 
somebody playing guitar. A lot of country music has those certain vocal inflections and nuances where it's like that, maybe like them doors on the door, that type of song, that type of singing. Wait a minute, hold on. Almost like a yodel where you can sing, but you gotta. There are a lot of great country artists, there's a lot of great country music. For some particular reason, that's just not a genre I've been drawn to. Now, there's been a few country songs here and there I might have heard on the radio or that just become popular in pop culture that I know of, that I might like, but I don't look for it. I don't search for it, but I can appreciate good music when I hear it. A lot of people think of it in a sense of like cowboys, cowgirls, cow hats, you know, belt buckle. He ha, he ha, So for Beyonce to be doing a whole entire country album, and for this to be her next era, for this to be like what her visuals are gonna look like, and just thinking about it, like how she's gonna translate this into a live performance. Because with the act one, with that dance electronic music, you saw what she did with the Renaissance tour. Now I'm wondering, is she gonna go on another tour for the country music? Hmm. I would like to see it. Now with the two songs she released, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em, 16 Carriages was more of like that slower, self-reflection type of song where you could tell that it's like she's thinking about life, thinking about her career, thinking about her kids, her family, sacrifices, her mother and father, her growing up, her childhood, that type of song where you can, when she's singing it, you can imagine everything because most of us that know about Beyonce's life and career and how she grew up and her success and how she is now, that's one of those like reflection songs where you can be like, hmm, wow, like Beyonce really been through a lot. Then you have that Texas Hold'em song where it's like that, you know, square dancing, you know, taking somebody's arm shoulder to shoulder and like, you know, y'all dancing around in a circle and ah, you know, that type of song, right? At first, I liked 16 Carriages better. But then as I started listening to Texas Hold'em more, I'm like, I'm like 50-50. Like, I don't like any particular song better than the other. They both have different styles. They both have a different mood, you know? So it's not like I like this song better than the other song. For me not to be a country music fan like that, both of the songs, pretty good. But with this, I wonder how this is going to play out into like award season. And I know a lot of people don't say they don't care, but that's gonna be a major thing. That's already a major discussion. Next year's Grammys. Is she gonna win album of the year? Or is she gonna get nominated? Or the CMAs, the Country Music Awards, are they gonna nominate her? Because with this release, it's already that controversy. And it's already this conflict where a lot of the, you know, Apple Music or Spotify, or even award shows, they still wanna try to categorize this music that Beyonce released as like R&B or pop. Where it's like, this is obviously a country song, but because it's Beyonce, because she's a black artist, because she's known for doing R&B and pop music, y'all still trying to categorize it as that. Are the CMAs gonna give her awards and nominations? Is the Grammys gonna put her in the country categories? Or are they still wanna try to, best R&B vocal performance, best R&B album, when it's clearly country? You know, that's what they like to do. They like to pigeonhole black artists into certain genres. Like, even when they expand, it's obviously pop, it's obviously disco, it's obviously this, it's obviously that. You're still nominating these black artists for R&B when it's country, when it's dance. Why are you doing that? You know, Jay-Z did have a point where it's like, oh, she's the most awarded artist. She didn't got no album of the year, but it's just like, okay, Jay-Z. She got the most Grammys out of any artist in history. Is not winning album of the year really hurting her like that? Not you could tell she was in the audience like, Ugh. Shut up! And it's official. I've come to the realization that the crazy in love, the love on top, the deja vu Beyonce is gone. And if she's not gone, she's on vacation or something. Down yeah, like that, okay? Huh. Like that was my favorite era of Beyonce, the crazy in love, me, myself, and I, love on top, deja vu, upgrade you. That was my favorite era of Beyonce, but you know, it is what it is. She's been doing this for over 20 years. She wants to experiment with different genres and do a deep dive into it where she's making whole albums of the genre, not just RB, pop, what she's used to doing, which a lot of people are used to doing. That's why 
just throw a lot of people off. The last album with the dance, electronic music, then with this country music, people are more susceptible. People are more willing to give it a listen because they already knew what was going on. But I always bring the question, I'm like, if this was Kelly Rowland, if this was Sierra, or any other black female artists doing country music, or you know, Carrie Hilson or somebody, <laughs> would people be this excited or would it get this much hype? You know, because it's Beyonce, it's gonna get that hype, and it is what it is. And another thing, a lot of people were saying, oh, she stole the spotlight from Usher, or this was Usher's night. And I even saw some of her fans like gloating about her stealing Usher's spotlight. Oh yeah, she stole the show, she stole Usher's show. I'm just like, mm, that's the only thing with some Beyonce fans. I'm like, why can't y'all just give each artist their moment? Usher killed it at the Super Bowl. That was a nice, great show, right? Beyonce had this great announcement. It was fun to see her do different like little parodies of like you know AI and being a Twitch streamer and you know being an astronaut it was fun to see her talk and do stuff because over the years Beyonce has grown to be almost like a recluse and she only comes out when it's time for her fans or the public to buy something from her so seeing her in a commercial it was like okay you know you get to see her personality and see she still likes to have fun but you could tell that this is not the same Beyonce from 2003. This is not the same Beyonce from Destiny's Child where her personality was more. But that's the thing. That was a 20 something year old Beyonce. Beyonce is in her early 40s now. It's a whole different ball game. So, with all of that being said, I want to know what do y'all guys think about Beyonce being in this country girl era, this country music era, releasing a whole country album? How did you like the two singles she released? Did you like one better than the other? Did you like neither one of them? How do you feel like this album is going to do? And would you like to go to a tour where she just does most of these country music tracks? Let me know your thoughts down below. This should be a really interesting discussion because Beyonce, you know, hate her, love her. She keeps people talking. She keeps people interested. Even when she seems so mysterious and like untouchable. She keeps people talking. She keeps people waiting and anticipating. Please leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.